Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I am going to be installing the new digital cluster in the 2010 to 2015 Chevrolet Camaro. Um, I'm going to be installing in my 2014 uh, RS. Um, I just got done with the um, installation of the head unit the vertical head unit which just absolutely looks awesome sounds awesome uh, huge upgrade um, also you can see that I installed a new center console uh, just the backstory on this car you guys didn't see my other video uh, this car uh, I just purchased and it was involved in a shooting so there's uh, it's, it's a clean title car however this thing was riddled with uh, bullets and everything I have a separate video where I'm going to go over air all the damage and everything um, in fact on the cluster here one of the big things that I'm replacing because I got bullet fragments that went through the seat and hit the cluster there um, so uh, today we're going to be um, installing the cluster now the cluster is super easy to install um, so um, what you get, you get the uh, silver bezel, you get the actual climate control itself, or excuse me, the cluster itself, um, and then a USB cord that plugs into the back uh, for future updates. This also comes in uh, with a carbon fiber trim, so you can get this in a carbon fiber, which really looks sharp. Thinking maybe sometime I might do all carbon fiber, uh, but today I'm just going to be doing the silver. Um, all right, so it, it's pretty straightforward actually uh, what we're going to do is um, just pull off this uh, This piece right here. I'm going to use a plastic pry tool. It just pops off Everything's plastic and just pops off. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting this apart and I will uh, kind of let everybody know how it goes. Like I say, it's it's not that hard. I could probably pull it off with my fingernails. With I'm not going to break my fingernails, so I'm just going to use a plastic pry tool. I got it all loose, and uh, this just you just take a pry tool, plastic pry tool, and pop this off. There's three tabs, so you'll see that the uh, the tabs go right there. You just drop your steering wheel all the way down, and then pop that back. Um, and then there are, it's hard to see, there's one, two, there's th four screws. I think they're like five millimeter stars or something like, or T5s or something like that. Uh, there's one there and then one right there. You'll see them very, very plainly. Sorry about that. It's kind of dark in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take that off and then pull the cluster out. Okay, we got the dash uh, cluster out. Um, now, when you do that, uh, you're gonna take a pry tool when you're pulling out the thing, and you have to pry this up just a little bit, and that cluster will pop out and fold down, um, and then you'll have to kind of do it again, do it again for the back of it. And then you kind of have to finesse it out here. It's kind of a little bit of a tight uh, fit, but it'll it'll come right out here. Now, uh, now we're ready to, I, I fished the USB cord, uh, down there just do it on the left side there and then you can reach up with your arm and grab it and then you'll see I have it right down here and and I'll eventually I'll, I'll tuck it up in there once we get it all um, hooked up and everything so uh, now we're gonna go ahead and fit the uh, new cluster in so it's just gonna go in and the plug is super easy you just you just pinch it to pull it out so um, that'll plug right into the cluster this will plug right in and then you'll you'll set it back in there, uh, put your four screws uh, back in, and pop that back in, and then snap the um, trim on, and you're done. This is gonna be the easy. It'll take you like 20 minutes to do this whole deal. So this is a super easy install. Just crazy uh, easy is how how this goes. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, cluster popped in and see what it looks like. All right, guys, it is completely finished and it is looking good. Um, you saw the start up there. Um, this is the twin gauges. I'm going to do a full another video that's going to go over all the um, different features and stuff. Um, 
So uh, that'll be coming soon. I'm going to, um, let's see, real quick, I'll show you the different um, screens that we have. I mean, there's so many functions on here. Uh, we'll do theme. So this is going to be what's called the touring screen uh, with the twin gauges. And then you have a sport um, that puts it in the center, the tack and the speedometer. Uh, and then you have the track, uh, which puts the tack at top and uh, the speedometer hanging in the center. Now, for you guys that have manuals, there's going to be a setting in here that will take away the park and everything so it, it won't have park drive and all that so you won't have that so when you get it it'll it'll probably say this however um, I will include instructions it's super super easy to take that uh, away for the manual transmissions um, overall I'm pretty darn impressed I got it installed with the uh, the vertical screen that I absolutely love um, all this can be purchased on my website at www.elliotmotorsports.biz and I try and stock these. Um, they're selling awfully fast, uh, which I guess I'm not surprised. Um, I do have this in carbon fiber and I do have one coming for demo purposes. Well, I guess not demo, but to take pictures of. Um, so I will have one in stock here shortly. Um, and I will have more of these now if you order from me um, and I do not have them in stock it only takes about five to seven days for me to get them now I do have these shipped to me first I inspect them and, uh, and then I ship them uh, straight out to you but like I said I try and stock these I'll try and stock as much as I can and as many as I can uh, possible um, you could also check it out on my eBay stores um, but um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, the next video is going to be doing um, a full demo and, and show all the features and everything of this. Uh, sorry about the glare glare there. Um, turn it back like that. So um, I guess that's all I got. Thanks so much.